I'm a little weak boy. All right, guys, this is a pretty interesting bike. I want to talk about it, go over what this is. All right, let's just get into it. There's, there's a lot to go over on this bike. There's a lot of political things to go over on this. Not really. All right, let's just get right into it. I'm Johnny Nerdout, uh, e-bike builder, converter. Yeah, I just convert bikes into electric bikes. It's the way to go. You get a way better bike when you convert one that you like. That's what I always tell people. Find a bike that you really like, that fits you well, you like the way it rides, it handles, everything, and then let's convert it into an electric bike. That's the best way to go. Instead of shoehorning yourself into a pre-made electric bike, go the other way. Okay, so this bike, this is, this is an interesting bike. As you can see, it's a cyclone bike. This is the battery, full suspension, specialized stump jumper, FSR. This is a carbon fiber bike. Yeah, it's interesting. I generally tell people to be careful if you're gonna put a motor on a carbon fiber frame. Cause these, you know, they're light, they're very lightweight. They're strong, they're really strong, but if you do crack anything on it, your frame is done. You can't repair it. I mean, maybe there's somebody out there that, that can. It's like, I found a way to do it. Okay, generally, the average bear is not gonna be able to repair it. Um, aluminum, steel frames, you could repair easier. So generally, people say, if you got a carbon fiber frame, I would kind of shy away from it. This customer was like, let's do it. This has got a reinforced bottom bracket. So he felt confident in doing it. He knew the uh, the risks. So it was like, all right, let's do it. This should be a pretty cool bike. So we got a Cyclone 3000 watt motor on the bottom. We got a 52 volt, six amp hour battery pack here. It's running off a 30Q cell, so they're the high output cells. This is not obviously pulling 3000 watts. These cannot put out 3000 watts. Maybe they can, but they would probably degrade them a lot. So I tuned this controller, it's a Bluetooth controller. I tuned it to only pull 80% of the capacity. So instead of 40 amps, this thing is pulling more like 30 amps, which this can do. These, these battery packs can pull 30 amps without, you know, ruining them. This is a good blend between power and longevity, life longevity on this pack. It's only a six amp hour. So putting a lot of, pulling a lot of amps from it is gonna degrade the life on it pretty quick. But that's the nice thing about this controller is that it's programmable from your phone. And you'll see later on in the Johnny Nerd Out test, top speed was not as high because, I, like I said, I, I programmed this down to only 80% of its full potential. So if I unlocked it, it would have been faster. There's no display, no frills, it's just a battery, motor, controller, and a throttle. That's all there is to this bike, so it's nice and Considering how big this motor is, I think it, it actually came out fairly clean. So I'm pretty happy with this. It's got a keyed ignition, turns on, gives you a little voltmeter here. I don't know how accurate this is, but it's probably accurate within like a half of a volt, which is a good general idea to see your state of charge on the battery because there is no display. But yeah, this is, this is a sick bike though. Look at these monster tires. They're 29 by 2.6. Like these things are, these are almost motorcycle tires. And it's a full suspension. This thing is just riding, like riding on a cloud. Yeah, I think as long as you don't trash this bike, it should last for a while. I think it should hold up to riding it hard, even with this motor on it. It should still have a good long lifespan. All right, so let's go check out the Johnny Nerd Out test and see how it does on hill climbing and top speed. Okay, so you can see the top speed was 34 miles per hour, but that's only at pulling 80% of the battery's potential. You could dial this up to 100% and I don't know, probably get a couple two, three miles per hour. Couple two, three, like we say in Chicago, probably do close to 40. Oh, also this bike is awesome. It's got a 10 by drivetrain, 10 speeds in the rear. So look at this monster low gear. That thing is insane. It's just gonna, it's gonna climb anything. Also in the Johnny Nerd Out test, I had, uh, um, you could program this to have a soft start, so it's not just like ring, ring, ring. And that's how I had it for this one, so climbing it is gonna be a little, you're not just gonna do wheelies all the time. It's gonna be, and plus it's gonna be a little bit easier on the drivetrain. You can change it though. Sick bike, guys. The Cyclone is not for everybody. Cyclone is, obviously this is not street legal. He knows that. He's not planning on using this as a commuter bike. This is just for riding a private land where there's nobody around out in the desolation. And here in Utah, there's plenty of places where there's just nobody around. So here, it's not a big deal. If you're like in New York City or something like that, yeah, you might run into some problems. But yeah, it's a nice bike. It's got a dropper seat post, hydraulic disc brakes. The thing is, this is a fun bike and it's still super lightweight. This thing weighs like three pounds. 
and it's tucked away nice up here. That The motor adds like probably 10 pounds, 11 pounds. You added about 15 pounds, but look at this. And I'm a weakling, I'm a little weak boy. And I can still lift this thing up. E-bikes of the future, not children.